Hello apples and cherries and welcome to your phonics lesson for today. So yesterday we started by going through our set two sounds and putting them into a sentence. So we're going to warm our brains up now with some green words, go through our set two sounds again and then we're going to focus on another set two sound for today. Okay, so remember with these green words you can either Fred talk them out loud or you can nod them in your head. Don't say the word until I push them forward. Are you ready? Frogs. Blip. Best. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go through our, all of our set two sounds that you already know. Are you ready? And the sound that we're going to focus on today is this one, which is E, 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 what can you see? Fantastic. Okay then. So I'm going to pop this sound up here, ready for later on. I've got our green words here with the E sound in. You can either Fred talk them out loud or nod them in your head. Are you ready? Scene. Bean, C, green, three, sleep. Fantastic. Okay, so on your whiteboards, or your paper at home, I would like you to write down some green words for me. The first green word I'd like you to write is three. Three. Pinch it out, pause the video now, and then practice writing it. Okay, have you written your sound buttons? Let's have a little look. When you stick your tongue out, you need the T and the H. Give yourself a tick or fix it if you need to. Okay, and the next word I'd like you to write is bean. Pinch it out. Bean. Pause the video now and write down your green word, bean. Okay, have you put your sound buttons on? Let's check. B, E, N, Bean. Okay, give yourself a tick or fix it if you need to. Amazing. So today we're going to write another hold a sentence. Okay, and we need to remember all of these key features. So we need to remember that there needs to be a capital letter at the beginning. In between each word we need a finger space. When we're writing our words we need to remember to use our Fred fingers. At the end of the sentence we need a full stop and when we've finished we need to read it back to check it makes sense. Okay, so the sentence that we're going to write today is I go to sleep. Ooh, there's an extra couple of, there's an extra word in this sentence today so it's a little bit longer. I go to sleep. Say that with me. I go to sleep. We're going to write the sentence together again today so you can either watch it all the way through and then come back and repeat it or you can write the sentence along with me. It's up to you. Okay, so I go to sleep. So the first word in our sentence is I. Okay, now luckily our word I is a red word and it is already a capital letter. So let's start over here. I. It's a capital I. I go to sleep, so the next word I need is go, and before I can write go, I need to put down a finger space, so I put my finger space down, and go is another red word, so go, we need a G, 
and then an O. Okay, so let's read it back. I go, the next word we need is two. Well done, so we need the next word two, and it's our, our other red word, so it's not the number two, it's two as in you go somewhere. So I go, need another finger space, and then write my red word two, I need a T, and then an O. Let's read it back again. This time you're going to read it. Well done. So it's I go to. Who can tell me what the last word is that we need? Say the sentence to remind you. Well done. We need sleep at the end. So I go to sleep. Okay, so before I write sleep, I need to make sure I put my finger space down and then I need to Fred talk the word sleep. 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 So I need a s and then a l. Well done. S l. Mm. What's that middle sign? E. Well done. E. E. S l. E. What do I need at the end of sleep? And a p. Well done. Now, as you can see, as I got through that, that word, I took my finger away because I didn't need to keep it there. My gap is already there. My finger space is always there. Let's just check that I've written this down. Sleep. Sleep. That word's correct. Let's read back our sentence, make sure it makes sense. And have I finished? Or is there something I've forgotten to do? Well done. I've forgotten my full stop at the end. Full stop. So is this going to be my full stop? No. We want it to look nice and neat. So my full stop is just a little one at the bottom there. Okay? And let's just check. I go to sleep. Fantastic. Give yourselves a pat on the back. So if you were writing the sentence along with me, you can carry on now with your red word. If you watched it through first, make sure you pause the video, rewind, and then write it along with me after, okay? Right, so yesterday we started a new red word, and it was this one here. Who can remember what this red word was? Well done, it's the red word sum, okay? So you cannot thread a red, you just need to know it. You need an S, an O, an M, and an E, okay? So have a really good look at it. Sum, sum, sum. Sum, sum, sum. Fantastic. I'm going to take this red word away now. I'd like you to pause the video and practice writing it down. I'd like you to write it three times on your piece of paper. So the red word, sum. And it's very tempting to thread talk, but you cannot thread a red. So we need four letters to write down our red word, sum. How did you get on? Did you get it right? Give yourself a tick or fix it if you need to. Amazing, well done reception. You've worked really hard today. I hope you enjoy your next day of your um, ditty book and I will see you tomorrow.